Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alan. And I'm Brendan. And today's Q&A is about battery isolators. Woo. All right guys, today's Q&A question is from Bogdan47. And uh, his question is, how can I hook up another battery to the alternator without having to share charge with the cranking battery? So uh, we're gonna tell you what you can do. Yeah, you're just gonna need a diode isolator, uh, which basically is gonna have an input from the alternator and it's gonna have an output for battery one and an output for battery two. That way it's not actually sharing the charge or pulling from battery one. Uh, but using a diode isolator, you may notice a, what, a half to 0.7 drop. 0.7 volt. Probably right drop. around there, type of drop. Uh, off because the, of the diodes. Off the di yeah, exactly, from the diodes, from the diode isolator. So that would be your best bet instead of using your traditional battery isolator, which is just a relay, which basically just connects both, Both the batteries, batteries together. At the same time. So a diode isolator would be your best bet. Uh, Stinger actually makes one. That's the one I've used. I haven't had any other brands really. I'm sure there's other ones. There's, there's other, other ones, ones out there. But, but what's nice about that is both batteries are going to be charged by the alternator. Exactly. But both batteries are completely isolated from each other. So battery one could be your starting battery. Mm -hmm. And battery two could be the battery that you're using to run the system. They're both going to be charged by your alternator, but there's no way for battery two to ever pull current from battery one or vice versa because they're completely diode isolated. Exactly, compared to your traditional battery isolator. Yeah, so, battery the, so, relay yeah, so the re so like most relays, they're, they're pretty much, re they're big giant relays. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, no matter who yeah. you buy them from, you buy them from us, you buy them from whatever manufacturer, 99% of them say diode isolators and they do, or they say isolators, not yeah. diode. And they do isolate the battery but they only isolate the battery when you turn the key off. So that way when the car's sitting, the batteries can't pull current from each other. But once exactly. you start the vehicle or turn the key on, the relay connects together, both the batteries, and then they're not isolated anymore. So you need a diode isolated type of, uh, you know, whatever. That's what you need. <laughs> exactly, because if you that, have the regular isolator, which is the relay isolator, let's say your secondary is like completely drained, Obviously, when you start the car, that's going to try to replenish itself as much as possible. So it's going to draw off the primary as to your diode isolator, which in my opinion is the best way to go. Uh, just besides the little amount of voltage drop you'll get from it. So, yeah, whatever. At least, you know, you can kill your battery in the back and not and still start it. your car, which is nice. Exactly. So hopefully that helped your uh, answer to your question there. Uh, like always, uh, yeah. thank you for the questions, and because uh, without your questions, we wouldn't be able to answer anything. Um, every once in a while, you can say thank you to us too, but you know, it's no big deal. It's okay. Uh, we're anyway, not, we're not offended. We're, we're not offended at all. A little bit. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm Alan. <laughs> I'm Brendan. And uh, for more information on battery isolators, check out sonicelectronics.com. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. Peace.